EKU men's basketball was in action yesterday in Richmond. Head coach Dan McHale was all smiles as the Colonels welcome in the Red Hawks of Southeast Missouri. Simo would come out hot and open up a four-point lead. Eastern down two when Paul Jackson finds Isaac McGlone chilling in the corner. He gives EKU the lead, and from there, the Colonels would never look back. Red Hawks looking to trim their deficit when Javante Hawkins comes up with the steal. Colonels would have six for the game as he lays it in, and the junior puts his team up ten. Still up ten when P2J drops one of his game-high nine dimes to Nick Mayo, who uses the glass. Mayo finishes with 15. Rochelle hits Jamil Powell top of the key. Money. Eastern up a baker's dozen. Simo cuts the lead to eight before the half, but Hawkins gets the last word as he steps back and drains it at the buzzer. Big Tay contributes 13. Red Hawks start the second half on a 10-4 run to cut Eastern's lead to six. McGlone looks to end the run. His shot's off the mark, but Rochelle's there for one of his seven rebounds and a double-fisted finish. The senior tallies a game-high 21. 63-52, Jackson sends it to Jalen Bab Harrison. Buckets. JBH chips in 18 off the bench. Here he hits the floater to put EKU up 16. The Colonels would lead by as many as 20 and coast to an 88-69 victory. Here's Mayo after the game. Uh, yeah, we were just trying to bounce back from that tough uh, home loss. So we were just trying to come out with some fire intensity and we just came out trying to play and obviously win. But we just got to keep on working hard and playing hard and coming out with fire. McHale and company will look to continue their winning ways when they travel north to face the Panthers of EIU. I'm David Miller for EKU Sports.